good morning children of god i hope you're doing wonderful this morning i want to pray with you and encourage you as you head out today this is a famous scripture that we all quote a whole lot of times and you've heard it so many times is is from the book of jeremiah 29 verse 11 it says for i know the plans that i have for you saith the lord or declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future if you look at that word it didn't say plan it said plans god has a plan for you he has plans for you not just one plan not two but multiple plans that god has for you so if you think that one falls through god has another plan for you and you know what god is faithful to his word so don't count yourself out just yet don't think that, oh, you know what? This is how far I can go in life. That's it. I've exhausted all my, my, my intelligence. I've exhausted, um, everything that I have. I don't think there's, there's hope for me anymore. I don't think I can, I still achieve that goal. I don't think that this is, is happened for other people. Yeah. But me, I don't think it will happen for me. As you go out today, know that God has plans for you. <laughs> know that he's not done with you yet. There's a prayer that I've been praying constantly for the past, I would say for the past, um, maybe since the beginning of the year or from early um, last months of last year. And this is the prayer that I've been praying. I say, God, let, you, let your original plan for my life come to fulfillment. Your original plan for my life. What you've destined about me. What you have in store for me. The right, what you've written about me. You know, David said that you've written our lives out. You've written it out from, from the time my mom and my dad met and they conceived, I was conceived and God needed me together in their, in my mama's belly. God has written out my plan even before I was conceived, even before my mama and my daddy met. God had already written out my plan. I'm, I'm, I've been praying that prayer. God, it's not, it's not too late. That plan. That the enemy has tried to, 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 to derail. That plan, God, I'm praying that plan to come to manifestation. That purpose, let it come to mani manifestation. The plans you have for me, God. So God has a plan for you today. Don't be discouraged. Be encouraged in the Lord. God has plans for you. And it's to prosper you, not to harm you. It's to uplift you and not to pull you down. The enemy is always trying to do the opposite. But know that the plan of God for your life. You might be thinking today, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm so bad. I've not been good. I've not been going to church the way I'm supposed to. I've not been doing it. I, I, that's all works. <laughs> as long as you trust in God. As long as you continue to pursue him. As long as you say, God, I am I, I'm trying. Lord, I, this is where I am. God, Lord, help me. He will meet you right where you are. God has a plan for you. And I pray for you today that you will rejoice in the plan that God has for you. That you will know that not just one plan that, that, that he has for you, he has plans for you to prosper you, not to harm you. Plan to give you hope, plans to give you hope and a future. That's what God has for you. And I pray that today you begin to meditate on the goodness of God. You begin to meditate on the fact that God loves you. He cares for you. And the plan of God is to prosper you and i pray that today you will begin to realize that all hope is not lost that you begin to realize that you are precious in the hands of god i pray that the holy spirit will begin to bring that into your remembrance today in the name of jesus i pray for the strength of the lord for you today i pray for that the joy of the lord will fill your heart on today I pray that today you will outdo, the Holy Spirit will help you to outdo yourself today in the name of Jesus. And I want you to know that today is the day that the Lord has made. So be glad and rejoice in it. Have a wonderful and God-filled day. We will see you at HOV tomorrow at 7 p.m. God bless you and you have a wonderful day in the Lord.